Previously, we uh, took a little trip to go eat with Kelly's mom. We made it! Yeah. My mom taught Ray the hula. You gotta work it, babe. Uh, then we had to buy a Christmas tree. That little guy? Yeah. What's the last Star Wars movie you saw? Forrest Awakens. Forrest Whitaker was in it. Forrest Whitaker was in Rogue One. <laughs> I know my Star Wars. I passed out, and I don't know what happened after I passed out. It got a little weird. I got this Alec Baldwin hair. What's happening? So, Facebook. I was actually in town this week. I didn't have any shows. I didn't have any work. So I decided I was gonna take your girlfriend and do something nice. I'm taking your girlfriend uh, ice skating today. Now, believe it or not, LA actually has a little ice skating rink in the middle of Santa Monica. It's like 75 degrees outside. People are in t-shirts. It's been a long time since I've ice skated. How long has it been since you've ice skated? Maybe five years. So, for me, it's been Literally decades. But I have to say, I've never done it holding hands with my boo before oh. going around the rink. Oh, he Lord. He held my hand. Oh, Lord. It was his idea. So you're going to fall? Oh, uh, well, we'll see. This is actually a first for me. Uh, I've never gone ice skating with someone that I've dated before either. Ooh. So probably because I was a teenager, and as a teenager, I was never uh, getting laid ever. So. Anyway, point is, if you can go ice skating for Christmas, it's actually pretty cool. I mean, other than the fact that you just skate around kind of in a circle. <laughs> that really is all you do. It's and one of those things I always think I'm going to be really good at, because people that are good at it make it look really easy. Spin. Spin. Oh, you're, you're doing great. <laughs> and then you get on the ice, you're like, oh my god. Oh my god. And then some eight-year-old whizzes by you and does a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Does a backflip. And in LA, the ice skating rinks, are they're like super wet because the ice is melting because it's not- Because we're ice skating in the sun. Because we're ice skating in the sun. So you're really ice skating in a puddle. Anyway, it was actually a good time. It was, it was pretty Christmassy. Christmas! So then we went down to the Third Street Promenade, which is down by the beach. There's like a nice little view of the ocean. It's beachy. It's Christmassy. It's everything that I love. Christmas time is here. Ma'am, could you refrain from singing on the escalator? Do you know how many times people have said that to me? <laughs> it's beachy and Christmassy, if you can imagine that. So they got all their Christmas decorations up. They've got some like weird art installations. There's like a giant cat or something. He was into it. You were telling me a story. You went to go see Puss in Boots in theaters. I did see Puss in Boots in theaters. A lot of people saw Puss in Boots in theaters. Puss in Boots is a good movie. A good movie. You never saw Puss in Boots? I never saw Puss in Boots. Hey, Puss in Boots is an amazing character. He's always getting distracted by cat. Yeah, uh, you are too. Look, I gotta get this dress. Why? It was made for me. Of course. Of course we come here and we gotta go shopping. So of course, after this like romantic outing getaway thing, I take her to the most romantic place I can think of, Cheesecake Factory. It's my favorite place. <laughs> for margaritas. And I learned the most disturbing thing about her that I, I didn't even know. She has never seen Shrek. That's the Macaulay Culkin. Never. She's never seen Shrek. She doesn't know the amazingness that is Donkey. I'm making waffles. The ogre. I'm an ogre. And even Farquard. Who? I feel like you would have had to have gone out of your way to avoid seeing Shrek. You've seen like all the kids' movies, but you've never seen that one? I don't do DreamWorks. It's the poor man's Pixar. That's the thing. Shrek is the one good movie that DreamWorks did. That's a hell of a review. It can't just be all Disney. What if you had never taken a chance on Despicable Me? That's Illumination, a totally different studio. Right, but if you had never taken a chance on Despicable Me, you would know how awesome the minions are and how awesome Groot is. So you gotta take a chance. So now you gotta take a chance with me on Shrek. In fact, when we get home tonight, we are watching Shrek. What? And you gotta tell me what you think. Oh no. Yeah. We'll get into that in a minute, but that really dominated the conversation for a while. We're doing it. It's my Kermit sad face. When I finally pull up next to the guy that wouldn't let me over face. With the, the Kermit meme? That's my, that's my impression of it. My favorite Kermit is the yeah! That's that that's one. That's funny. Cause that's my personality and yours is. <laughs> <laughs> so we leave the Cheesecake Factory and I take her to another place of hers that is her favorite, which is Disney Store. Yes. So there's a Disney Store down there and they got all this Disney bullshit. And of course she wants to buy everything. What do you get? Everything. 
Oh god. I got Elliot, but it's the good Elliot, not the dumb Elliot from the new movie. What's dumb about him? Everything. He doesn't look happy and friendly at all. Not at all. But the cool thing about the Disney store, and the only reason I put up with it, is now Disney owns Star Wars. They got a ton of Star Wars stuff. You gonna be Poe? Yeah. You know these pants will fit? Well, I mean, look at the little pork. And what I like to do is I like to find the toys for the movie that's about to come out and you read the bios on the back of the box and you can figure out little tidbits about the movie. This is- Oh my God, look how cool These are is. like the secret service to Snoke and Snoke's the bad guy. Yeah. Snooky? Snoky? Sno Snooky, yeah. Snoky. Snoky. This is Rose and BB-8. Like a line of chairs? <laughs> R-O-S-E. Me, just reading the back of toy box. It's not spoiling it. Ah. It's not. It's not nothing you couldn't ascertain by watching the trailer a thousand times. That is not true. There's so many things in those toy boxes you were telling me about that's not even in the trailer. Oh, whatever. <laughs> it was a good trip to the Disney store. I don't know if you guys have a Disney store where you're at. Disney stores are cool. But you have to avoid a certain section there. That made me very, very upset. All right, this this is the worst part of the whole store. I'm very upset at Olaf. If you've seen Coco, you know what I am talking about. Disney has a short film that you must watch before you see Coco. Olaf and I are never going to be friends again. And it's a 25 minute short a film. Frozen, a That's Frozen, a Frozen. That's oxymoron. The word short shouldn't be anywhere near that film because it drags ass. You are being held hostage by this deformed snowman who can't even hold on to a fruitcake. It's absurd, it's it's childish. Like even for a kid's thing, it's like really silly. A DreamWorks level movie right before you see the loveliness of Coco. If you see Coco, show up like half an hour late so that yes. you can avoid that stupid Olaf short film. It's ridiculous. I have nightmares where I'm still watching it. The fifth song that they broke into, I was like, ah. Oh. It's gonna end now, it's gonna end now. Wait, it's gonna end now. It's still going. Whose idea was this? And when do we get an apology? <laughs> Actually, it's the best part of Frozen's All Lost Adventure right there. It's the only redeeming part. So we get home from our magical evening out, our quality time out, and I decide that I gotta make her do the thing that she should have done forever ago. We're about to watch Shrek. And your reaction to this movie is very important to me. This could have an effect on our entire relationship. There's like five Shrek movies, a Shrek series. There's like Shrek holiday short films. I feel like there's a Shrek breakfast cereal, a Shrekfast cereal, if you will. Really? All of it, there's all kinds of stuff. And you just completely missed it. If you don't like this movie, I'm not sure you understand all that is good in this world. And it won an Oscar. That's that's how crazy it is that you haven't seen it. Did they win the Oscar, the kind that comes in a trash can? Because that's what it deserves. Oh my God. Look, Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. Pixar's done that like 20 times already. I guess you don't uh, entertain much, do you? Smash Mouth? Yeah. It opens with Smash Mouth? Yeah. You told me this was a good movie. <sighs> Which is a good indication that it's now nap time. What are you talking about? That's like the one song that Smash Mouth had that I'm like, all right, that's cool. Smash Mouth. So anyway, from so Christmas past, we don't. So we, want to sorry, remember. that is a cat's tail. Okay, sorry that. <laughs> Stop. So anyway, so we watched the damn movie. She's complaining about all of it. Oh, and a fart joke right away. <laughs> How is she gonna hate Shrek? What? It just started. Miss Kitty, you enjoying the movie? Miss Kitty. Hey, wake up. You gotta, you gotta back me up on this. He'll wake up for Puss in Boots. Ah! I'm so disappointed that you didn't like it. And you have good taste in movies. You have good taste in animated movies and you didn't like Shrek. That's because I have good taste in movies. Get out of here! Can't we just settle this over the paint? No, I will give Shrek a compliment. What? I'd rather watch that than Olaf's Frozen Adventure. <laughs> okay, we're getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. Leave this in the comments, how angry you are about Oh, Lost Frozen Adventure, and demand your 21 minutes back from Disney. What? And then comment about how amazing Shrek is and about how weird it is that she's never seen it. We are out of here. Um, I gotta get on the road. I gotta go to Alabama and Georgia, but I will see you <laughs> next week. Bye, Will. Oh, she, she hates it. Oh, oh my God.